Welcome to our water sampling analysis video. Get ready to dive deep into the world of water quality assessment as we uncover the secrets hidden within our precious water sources. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. What is water sampling? Water sampling is the procedure of obtaining representative samples of water from artificial sources such as reservoir, water treatment facilities, and industrial discharge point, as well as natural sources such as lakes, rivers, oceans, and groundwater. Water sampling is a fundamental aspect of environmental monitoring and management providing essential data for understanding the health of aquatic ecosystem, identifying potential pollution sources, and ensuring safe drinking water for communities. So now you have know briefly what is water sampling, but when is it needed? Here are some common scenarios when water sampling is necessary. Firstly, it is crucial for environmental monitoring where environmental agencies and researchers take samples for assessing the health of natural water bodies like rivers, lakes, and oceans. Secondly, it is also essential to monitor the quality of drinking water supplied to homes, businesses, and communities. Other than that, scientists and researchers often collect water samples to study specific parameters such as the presence of organisms, pollutants, and nutrients. Next, in areas where people swim or participate in water sports such as beaches and public pools, water sampling is conducted to check for the presence of harmful bacteria or other pathogens that could pose health risks. Lastly, when a contamination event occurs, there is a potential risk of harmful substances entering water sources in these situations, water sampling becomes a critical tool for identifying the specific contaminants present and understanding the potential health and environmental impacts. So we will be explaining about the methods of water sampling. Number one, planning and objective definition. Before starting the sampling process, it is essential to define the objectives of the sampling campaign. The purpose could be assessing water quality, monitoring pollutant levels, investigating the presence of specific contaminants, or studying ecological parameters. Proper planning helps determine the right location, sampling frequency, and parameters to be analyzed. Next is the selection of sampling sites. Selecting appropriate sampling sites is critical to ensure that the collected samples are representative of the water body. Factors like flow patterns, depth, proximity to potential pollution sources, and accessibility are considered when choosing sampling locations. And don't forget to record the weather. If it's raining, you may want to consider some additional steps including safety, potential dilution, and runoff contamination. Or you may simply come back another day when the weather is nice. Number 3. Sampling Equipment Preparation The sampling equipment used depends on the type of water and the parameters being measured. Common water sampling tools include bottle. It has to be clean, sterilized, and leak-proof containers made of appropriate materials to avoid sample contamination. Next, dippers. Dippers is used for collecting surface water samples from streams, lakes, or ponds. Next, water samplers. Water samplers is automated devices that is used for collecting samples at specific depth in large bodies of water. Lastly, pumps. Pumps is used for groundwater sampling or in situation where manual collection is challenging. Number 4 is the sample collection. When collecting the water sample, it is essential to follow specific procedures to ensure accuracy and avoid contamination. The process typically involves rinsing the sampling equipment with the water to be sampled to avoid contamination from previous samples, collecting multiple subsamples at different depths or locations to get a representative sample of the entire body of water, and using appropriate techniques to prevent contact between the samples and the atmosphere. Number 5 is Sample Handling and Preservation. Depending on the parameters being tested and the laboratory analysis methods, water samples may require specific handling and preservation. For instance, some parameters may require samples to be kept at specific temperatures or treated with preservative to prevent degradation or changes before analysis. After the sample have been collected, 
water samples must be transported to the laboratory as quick as possible to avoid any changes in the water's characteristics. Proper labeling, documentation and secure packaging are crucial during transportation. Lastly, laboratory analysis. Once the water sample reached the laboratory, trained technicians perform various tests and analysis to measure parameters such as pH, dissolved oxygen, nutrient levels, heavy metals, bacteria, and pollutants. The results are used to evaluate the water quality and its suitability for different purposes. In short, water sampling is a powerful tool that provides insights into water quality and identifies potential risks. It is also essential for understanding the safety and health of water sources and guiding effective environmental management and public health practices. It empowers us to protect and preserve our waterways to ensure a sustainable future for the upcoming generation. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Isaac, Isaac is a rap, kan? Is a rap.